saints peace love grace of christ jesus be with everybody out there hope everyone's doing fine today so far we've studied a little over a third of the book of acts chapter 1 through chapter 10 and today we're going to get into chapter 11. now right the vision of course involves asking the questions who's speaking who's being spoken to and what's going on at the time this involves the administration or the dispensation of time that we're dealing with. In chapter 11, Paul has been in Roman Tarsus for the past eight years or so, preaching to the Jews and Gentiles, the, the gospel of grace, the mystery that our Lord Jesus revealed to him in Damascus. And those years also in Arabia, all that time that he spent down in Arabia, he was learning this new revelation of this mystery. Now, during these 10 years that Paul's in Tarsus, there's a lot going on back in Jerusalem. The apostles are still full swing in the gospel of the kingdom, preaching repent, be baptized, and produce fruit, enduring until the end. And there's two dispensations going on at the same time here. In this little window of time, this is a, a, a unique situation taking place the transfer from the kingdom gospel over to the gospel of grace a transition from the prophecy to mystery from Jews alone over to Jews and Gentiles in the same body now for those of you just joining us in this study I highly encourage you to start with the first video Acts chapter 1 you have to start at the beginning otherwise you're not going to understand what we're talking about at the, especially at this point in our study it's all about studying to show yourself approved before God rightly dividing the word of truth read 2 Timothy 2.15 Paul's 10 year ministry in Tarsus is about to come to a close and God is about to rev up the gospel of grace this revelation, this secret and how is he going to do that? he's going to do it by taking the apostle Paul throughout the region to really start teaching this new revelation, the gospel of grace, this secret hid within God since the foundation of the world. So let's begin our study today in Acts chapter 11 in verse 1. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. Now Cornelius the centurion, a Roman officer in charge of a hundred men, a Gentile, he's just been added to the kingdom program by Peter in Caesarea. Now remember, Cornelius was baptized two times. First, by the Holy Spirit, then by Peter's kingdom baptism of water. This is, was, uh, again, it's about the kingdom Jewish protocol. In verse 2, and when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou wentest into men uncircumcised? and did eat, eat with them? Now keep in mind, these apostles have no idea what's going on with Paul up in Tarsus. There's some lack of information taking place here in this transition. Information was slow back then. There's no US post office, there's no internet, no email, no Facebook. Sometimes it took months and even years just to send a, a, a single message to another family member. And in the kingdom program, which was for the Jews alone, the apostles didn't associate with the Gentiles. And the fact that Peter converted Cornelius was highly unusual. And it wasn't permitted according to the Mosaic protocol. In verse 4, But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning and expounded it by order unto them, saying, Now here Peter knew full well that the other apostles would highly be concerned about this matter. And Peter knew he'd have to explain to them what happened, and why it happened, and how it happened. So Peter rehearsed the word, so to speak, and what he was going to tell uh, this little flock, these believing Jews. In verse 5, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. A certain vessel descend, as it had been a great sheet, let down from heaven by four corners. And it came even to me upon the which when I fastened mine eyes I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air and I heard a voice saying unto me 
Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed, that call not thou common. And this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. So God shows Peter through this vision that no longer would there be a separation between the Jews and the Gentiles. The veil has been lifted. Something changed. A new program. The body of Christ. Both Jews and Gentiles in that same body. This is the mystery that was revealed and explained in detail to the Apostle Paul. But Peter didn't understand this as well as Paul did at the time. This is all new to Peter. Keep that in mind as we move along. In verse 11, And behold, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was, sent from Caesarea unto me. And the Spirit bade me to go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa, and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter. Who shall tell thee words, whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved? And as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? What was I, that I could withstand God? So we see two baptisms here, the new one for the body of Christ, and the old one under the kingdom program, John's baptism by water, a transition from one program to another. This is the little window of time that I explained in the past two videos. In verse 18, when they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then hath God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phenis and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians. And the Grecians are Greek-speaking Jews, preaching the Lord Jesus. So to regroup on these dates here, this scattering of the Jews around the stoning of Stephen, happening around 31 AD, and now we're right around 46 AD. So there's over 15 years that have gone by so far. Paul's been preaching the grace gospel for about 10 years at this point, and he's been in Tarsus this whole time. So all these Jews that fled west throughout Greece and Galatia and Rome and Asia, Macedonia, are all in pockets of Jews who are still very much law-minded. They're still practicing temple worship, keeping the laws, and holding on tight to the kingdom gospel. We talked about this scattering that's found in James 1, the 12 tribes being scattered throughout the region because of this persecution taking place. They're literally in the last days, going into the day of the Lord, Daniel's 70th week. Verse 21, And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem. And they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch. Now we see God sending Barnabas north. Guess where he's going? Verse 23, who, when he came and had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost, and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. And here's why Barnabas went north, the next verse. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus, for to seek Saul. And now the transition from the kingdom gospel for Jews only is in full swing. The kingdom momentum is decreasing and the gospel of grace momentum is increasing through Paul. Verse 26, And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. 
And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. Now keep in mind the word church here is assembly and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. So we see Paul and Barnabas are now in Antioch. Paul's preaching the same gospel as he's been preaching for the past 10 years in Rome and Tarsus. The revelation of the mystery. Both Jews and Gentiles in one body. The gospel of grace. And we're right around the year 47 AD. Verse 27. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. And there stood up one of them named Agabus. And, and signified by the Spirit that there should be a great dearth, a famine throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Judea, which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul, our apostle Paul. So they send Paul and Barnabas from Antioch down to Judea, Jerusalem. And if you look in the map in front of you, notice where Tarsus is all the way in the north. Then below that we see Antioch where they spent a year preaching the gospel. Then they went south, Barnabas and Paul going south through Syria, down through Judea. And we see Jerusalem and Caesarea and Damascus and Joppa, Gaza, Samaria. And we're going to be using this map a lot from now on because here's where Paul's journeys really begin. This is where the dispensation of the mystery, the gospel of grace, is picking up steam. And the gospel of the kingdom is losing steam. And the gospel of grace is rising quickly. And in the middle, we see this overlap. This tiny window of two gospels happening throughout the region. It's only a matter of time until Paul gets to visit all of these different areas and he reveals to them what he was shown by Jesus on the road to Damascus. So next, we'll get into Acts chapter 12 and continue our study in the book of Acts. Until then, peace, love, grace of Christ Jesus be with all of you. Lord willing, I'll see you in that next video.